Okay, so so let's see if there is there any raise everything. The color will be red. So, Mr. Indrajit. <laughs> Chutia, this video is for you. So first of all, here we're going to discuss about the general introduction. General intro, including the definition of crime in the first place and essentials of crime. Essentials of crime includes four kinds of essential. As you already know, the first one is HB, that is human being who is the author of crime, and a fit subject for uh, fit, fit subject for punishment. Then the second one is we, you know the mental element. Mental element. Third one is physical element. Physical element so the mental element here is mansria physical element here is actus ria rias and the last one is injury the injury must be caused to person person's body mind reputation and property so these are the scope of this video i hope you like it so we're going to discuss about these things what can i do with this stuff okay so this is the scope of the video so first of all we're going to deal with the definition of crime right so first of all we're going to deal with definition here we're going to deal with the definition provided by various uh, uh, authors like uh, first of all we're going to discuss about the definition given by uh, bentham so bentham to first of all b e n bentham so what is the definition according to Brown Bentham? Offenses are whatever the legislation had prohibited for good or for bad reasons. So first of all, Bentham defined offenses. So what does it mean by offenses? Are whatever legislation, legislation means the statutes, statutes means the acts or enactments passed by the legislative body of any state legislative body here we have parliament and state legislature right state legislatures so offenses are whatever the legislature has prohibited for good or for bad reasons so the legislature must prohibit prohibit certain conduct or it must cast duty to do certain acts, the omission of which may amount to an offense. So offense includes acts and omission. Offense includes acts plus omission. Omission is illegal omission. Often means acts and omission means illegal, illegal omission. Uh, and it must be prohibited by the legislature either for good, either for good reasons or for bad reasons. So this is what the definition provided by Bentham. Again, I'm saying it, offenses are whatever the legislature has prohibited for good or for bad reasons. So that means to what we can, we can from the conclusions here that I need to erase. 
So we can form conclusion here. So meaning of the prime here. So prime. Prime means what? Prime defined as an act punishable by law as forbidden by statute or injurious to the public welfare. Forbidden. Forbidden. This must be an act. The act must be forbidden by law. Law may be anything like statute, for example. Uh, by law is forbidden by statute or injurious to the public welfare. And it is injurious. Crime is what? Injurious to the public welfare. Injurious to the public welfare. Now, as we know that the state takes the responsibility of prosecuting the criminals. So crimes uh, affects the society as large. That's why it is called jus in ram. We know the term, right? Very, very well over with that term. Uh, afterwards, so according to Blackstone also, Blackstone's definition is very important because the uh, they may ask MCQs on Blackstone's definition. So it's very important. So I'm going to give you the definition provided by Blackstone. Draw, draw. It's important from the point of view of MCQs. Do you ask questions relating to this? So what that lesson uh, is reading? Commentator is in his book, in his uh, commentary on the laws of England. Commentary. Uh, on the laws of, I read very, my handwriting is not good. Commentary is on the, uh, laws of England, what Benham has stated has defined crime as an act committed or omitted in violation to the public law, either forbidding or commanding. That is the best definition in my view. It means an act, right? So it means an act, uh, an act. Act means what? Conduct, obviously. Committed or omitted. It is either committed or either omitted. It includes commission and omission. Committed and omission. It means commission, it means omission. Committed and omitted in violation of public law. Public law means uh, the law of that country. Violation of public law. Here we can presume that it's our criminal law. Public law either forbidding or commanding it. That public law may forbid forbidding. Forbidding or commanding. Commanding. So here uh, forbidding means it is an act. Commanding means it is a duty to do an omission will amount to an offense. So act on omission. It is commission and it is omission. These are called crime. So this definition is appears to be very, I mean, convincing. Then we have other definitions of Stephen, like a crime is a violation of a right considered in reference to the evil tendency of such violations as regards to community at large. So you can uh, read the Misra book and you can find many other definitions that will be relevant. So after that, we're going to discuss about essentials. The essentials are very simple. It's just an introductory video. You don't need to like just an introductory video and it's very, the topics are very easy. So then I'm going to discuss about the essentials. You can find, you can read other, others' definitions as well. So, but I think the video will be too long and boring if I had all the definitions. So I have mentioned some few of them only. So then comes elements of crime. 
I have already mentioned here, there are four elements. I need not mention again and again. The first one being it's HB. HB stands for him, human being. Then comes mental element, which is man's rhea. Then physical elements, which is actus rhea. And then injury. Injury must be caused to the body, mind, reputation, body, mind, reputation, and uh, property, right? Injury must be caused to the body, these four elements, body, mind, reputation, and property. Elements of crime, body, mind, reputation, and property. So we're going to discuss about the first elements here. That is, human being. The first thing about human being is, it is the author of crime author of crime and a fit subject for imposing subject for imposing punishment so it both a author of crime and also a fit subject for imposing punishment now in previous times in previous times what used to happen there are two things number one is any man number two is inanimate objects so ancient times so in ancient times punishment were imposed upon animals and even inanimate objects as well. So that was quite strange, but this is to happen. So punishment were mainly based on the theory of uh, retribution. So we have various theories of punishment. So in ancient times, punishments were mainly based on the theories, theory of retribution. An eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. That means it satisfied the feeling of visions. So that's why punishments were inflicted upon even animals, inanimate objects as well. But in the present era, we don't make the animal, we don't punish the animal. We punish uh, the, sometimes the owner uh, has some uh, liability for negligence and uh, not on animals. And sometimes uh, some animals are being shot that due to as a preventive measure, some dangerous animals. Inanimate objects are not, we don't throw inanimate objects out of the state as a means of punishment. That used to happen in our ancient times. So, 